Hi, this past week I picked up Silver Surfer Epic Collection Volume 4 featuring stories of the Silver Surfer from 1988 through 1989. And the reason I picked this book up is because it includes the story Parable, which was a two-issue miniseries written by Stanley, drawn and lettered by Mobius. Um, he didn't do the colors, but did the art. And I've heard of the story for a few years now, and I've heard mixed reviews of this. I'm a big Mobius fan. Um, when he was drawing under Jean Girard, um, I became a huge fan of his Blueberry comics. They're some of my favorite comics. And um, enjoyed a lot of his sci-fi work. I read the in and as difficult a slog that book is to read, the art is beautiful, in my, in my opinion. So I had heard about this, and I know the trades are very expensive on the aftermarket. Um, you can get the individual issues, not too expensive, but I've heard mixed view, reviews, so I was able to check this out and read this story. And I have to say that I think they pulled the Stan, uh, Jack Kirby on this one, excuse me, where Stanley is the writer and Mobius is the artist, but I think this is a Mobius story that Stanley just kind of like reviewed, added a few things, and they kind of try to shoehorn it in the Marvel Universe. But this story really makes no sense. Um, the two problems I have with it is that they refer to the Silver Surfer, they re refer to Galactus, but there's no mention of any other superheroes on earth so it's not they don't even bother explaining like oh it's, it's a shame that the the all the earth's heroes are fighting the kree or some lame excuse just to kind of explain why they're not here and so galactus shows up and says like i'm galactus and everybody revert reveres them as a god and they're like who is this galactus even though in marvel history galactus has visited earth and people have seen Galactus, so they know that he is a threat. And then it features this um, preacher, this televangelist, who's dressed in this weird um, Star Trek original series type of costume. And he sees Galactus, and he thinks he can telepathically connect with Galactus, and therefore it'll allow him to have true power. It's a strange book. Um... The Silver Surfer um, is just given up on human beings, but he stays on Earth and he walks around like a homeless person. But then he realizes that, you know, somebody's got to get these human beings to stop watching Galactus. So then all of a sudden, he's his normal self. And it's just odd. It's just an odd book. It makes no sense has all these crazy ideas, and you just kind of have to roll with it. It's like a bad Doctor Who episode where you just kind of have to roll with it and say, okay, this is the story. It doesn't tie to any previous canon, and it doesn't um, make any real sense. You just got to roll with it. Um, so that's one of the problems I have with this. And the second problem I have is, and I feel like I'm committing heresy by saying this, that I don't think Mobius is the right character to draw the Silver Surfer and Galactus. I think for these two characters, you need someone that can really convey a lot of power, like raw power. Like, for instance, um, in Judgment Day by John Buscema, these scenes have like a lot of what you call power. I mean, Buscema is even like channeling the Kirby dots. And I think when you have one of these cosmic space epics and you're dealing with these super powerful beings, you kind of have to say, okay, we need somebody that convey a lot of raw power and energy like Kirby could do or Buscema does here. And I think visually it works really well. I haven't read the story, so I don't know if it's good or not. But visually, it just looks really good. And it fits the characters. Mobius tends to draw more slender figures. He's good at the acting, you know, the emotional acting. Uh, I love Mobius. He's one of the most important cartoonists in comics history. But I don't think he was the right person for this. I think you need somebody, even Byrne, 
who was a you know a Kirby disciple before him and Kirby had a major falling out could draw power not as good as Kirby even by his own admission but um I think you I think this is a real waste of Mobius. And I understand why they did it, because, hey, we're going to get the guy who's really uh, tied into sci-fi comics in Europe to draw Silver Surfer because he's the coolest sci-fi hero we have in the Marvel Universe. But to me, it's like when you have a movie that's a bad film, that's badly written, it's poorly directed, but you get a big star in it. And they think, oh, the big star is going to draw people. Not really. It's still a bad film. And I think... They brought Mobius in thinking, hey, this is going to be really awesome. And it's really not. I, 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 I think Stan really probably struggled to try to make this somewhat fit in the Marvel Universe. And then after a while, just gave up. And you just kind of like, like I said, you had to roll with it. So if you're Mobius completist and you have to have this comic because you love his work that much, then I would suggest that you look for the first two issues. You can find those issues. Um, I saw, you know, the issue one and two, I seen it sell for $10 on eBay. Um, like I said, some of this art looks really beautiful here. It's like as a panel, but it, it just, to me, doesn't work. And the story is just makes it worse. I think if it was a really good plot, a really good story, it would make more sense. And I'm not even sure what the parable is here. Um, again, it. I think the trades are really expensive just because it's scarcity, not because it's so great. And that happens with a lot of these older Marvel trades. They printed them once, they didn't print a lot, and they're hard to find because they're hard to find. They're expensive on the aftermarket, but not because they're super great. Um, so um, you may be able to find this at your library, and if you can, I would check it out. If you're a big Silver Surfer fan, Silver Surfer fan excuse me, and you can find one of these at a good price and you want to pick this up you can do it but i can guarantee you that the trades run 60 to 80 dollars on ebay and this is cover price 44.99 i'm pretty sure you can get it for cheaper than that i think in 20s or 30s um on ebay and you can get a lot more comics and you can get the john Buscema story and, you know really love that art and um have this as an extra so I, I hate to be negative, um, I really do, because there's enough negativity in comics, but um, sometimes you just gotta be honest. And so, like I said, if you're a Mobius fan, pick it up, but don't shell out 60 bucks or 80 bucks for the trade unless you got money burning a hole in your pocket. And that's really it. Um, let me know what you think. Thanks.